Hello guys, this is Andy from Mooncake Visual and today we're gonna go through a, to a tutorial where we're gonna create a simple lower third but first I just wanted to let you know that I just released the version 1.1.0 of the controller which have some improvement like synchronization so for example if you switch cameras and you go to a remote device let's go for example to cameras you refresh it, now you see that they are, the cameras are synchronized you see? now if you go to talent you refresh and then read on talent you see? they are synchronized also now we can trigger talents at the same time see it? we can have multiple talents at the same time and also another improvement was with the programs you know you see now they look different so it's because now we have like dynamic programs in this tutorial we're gonna create a simple lower third that when we click will trigger this animation and this data but you see the name uh, like uh, on the Instagram but this is totally dynamic so if you hit settings name and this and Instagram at mooncake visuals which is my Instagram don't forget to follow me I won't put in this again I will change this to Pedro you save it when you trigger it you see it's oh it, I put Pedro but you see it says Pedro but also we can like we can clone this as a template and then edit edit like and this at testing if I click here you see it says and it at testing but I got these for Pedro as well if you click you see it says Pedro at monkey visual so that's an improvement that I made of the controller so no more to say I hope you like the tutorial guys so let's get started okay guys uh, I have the project open here which is the base project as you can see and the first thing I want we really want to do is we're gonna create a user interface with your blueprint so you're gonna right click here user interface with your blueprint let's call it lower third save it we open now we're gonna take a canvas from here take a canvas good so let's set the size to 1920 10, uh, sorry 50 zero let's work with the with the white position where one where we want it to be okay now let's anchor it then the width there you go now let's add an image this will be basically just the background so it's zero zero so let's just set it to a size that covers the canvas and then let's take the anchor and then let's put it here so now if you if you take here if you click here you see the resolution you will see that it will keep its aspect ratio so we're gonna work on 1920 by 1080 is the because this is the output from here so you can see in the play viewport this is the resolution we're using as output good now let's add a text text okay let's change the color good let's place in zero zero now let's add the size with the font size now you can we can just tweak the the positioning like a little bit here a little bit down there you go we're gonna use this format for now so if you change the size you see we'll keep its aspect ratio okay good so let's say let's compile and save good for now let's add some text like name here File save. Now let's create a blueprint class, an actor. This will call lower third manager. This will be our manager, the one that will contain our lower third and will trigger it. So let's double click on it. Okay. Uh, the first thing we want to do is like go to class settings and add the LVL director. You remember this is the class to trigger just 
that will connect this project with our where is it with our controller so and then we need to add the tag which is basically if you go to the rhythm file you will get the LBL program let's get it from here there you go Hit enter compile and then you save now we're going to the event graph let's just take the begin play let's create widget uh, this widget will be our lower third and then let's promote this to variable this will be lower third see here and then let's add this to the screen uh, to b4 there you go compile it save let's just drag our manager in the scene let's set a position zero 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 now let's move here go let's save and now if you play you see that our lower third is here so if you go to the controller it's connected but it's not there isn't any program because we haven't set it yet okay now let's go in the in the world outliner go to the we can stop it go to the <coughs> Sorry guys, to the socket IO controller, you see there's a project name, you can change it there, so the name that will be reflected here. But let's go to our manager. <laughs> the first thing, if you want to make it visible here as a program, we need to open this, the get program info function. Okay? So in get program info, let's add a name. This time will be uh, call lower third good uh, we're gonna leave like that so far for now uh, the program trigger will be zero okay and in the event graph let's just take the play program you right click and implement function this will, will what this will do is when this send a uh, message here this will send to all the LVL programs this the play program but the first thing we need to do is that we need to make sure that the program ID here is the same that sent from here. So the first thing, something we can do, we can go back to our get program. Let's add a variable. This would be trigger ID. It can be an integer. We can just drag and drop here. Also, let's add another one. We're gonna be using it later. This will be. Well, yeah, the program might input. Let's add it to in just in case. That's the way I like to work. So I, I have all available from the editor. So I'm just gonna drag and drop here. Let's make them visible. Then compile. And then save. Now, if you go to our lower term manager, now you see we got our trigger ID. We're gonna leave it at zero because this, this will be zero, the first event. And then the program info will be uh, call lower third good and now if we hit play and we go to our controller you see we got a new program called lower third if we click it nothing happens it goes green it sent the message but we have we don't have anything set to do when it receives the message so okay um where is it let's go to our manager to event graph the first thing we need to do is to make sure that it's the same ID, which is this, the trigger ID. If this is equal to this trigger ID, so branch if it's equal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just for now print a message. Print string hello. Compile, let's hit save and let's try it. Hit play, you see, when we go to the controller, we click it says hello so it's working now good now let's take the things a little bit further let's delete this let's compile let's save in our lower third we're gonna choose here our text and we're gonna make it variable go compile save and then we're gonna go to the graph graph we can just so far delete it because we're not gonna need it just right click and add a custom 
event this will be change name okay so change name we're gonna take our text get and then we're gonna set text to Ryan or whatever name I don't know why I put Ryan but okay uh, let's just compile save in our lower third manager remember that we saved our widget I will lower the widget here so we can just take it and drop it here and then just click from here and then remember the name that we added to the custom event which is change name we go back and we type change name there you go and then same so if it's true I mean if it's the same program ID that we set for this blueprint so change the name compile and save good now if we hit now go here we hit play you say it says name here if we click here we just change to Ryan good so far so good it's working now what we're gonna do we're gonna set a custom name for it so how basically you could like go here and then, then change it to Ryan and blah blah now nah, but forget we're not gonna do that we're gonna use we're gonna send the data from the controller how are we gonna do this? In the custom event, we're gonna add an input, which is gonna be string. This string will be the name, new name. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna drop it here. You see it? It will automatically convert to a text format. And there you go. Now we compile, we hit save. Going back to the lower third manager, you see now that we got change name here I mean if I put the name here like Andy's let's compile and save and let's hit play when you go here you trigger you say now says Andy's okay oh the I put that by mistake but okay it says Andy's it changed but something now we can do is if you go to get program info there is a field that says extra info that we didn't use in the previous tutorial we're gonna use it here so if I put name 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 in this case is the name of the field that will appear in the form of the controller so you compile and you save and let's save all now if you hit play you go here now you see that our that our program seems different i mean it's taller now and we got this setting wheel so we can just click here if you click you see it says name this is what we put here the name we put here in the the name of the form so the name i want to be pedro i saved okay now you have to play it will change to end it because I haven't connected yet but now let's try okay we go back to the event graph and now you see we get this extra info output if we take it from here you can we can just I just create a function to get like infos from the forms so to make things easier for you so you right click and just hit the code filled into data you hit here so now you take this rule and place here and then this we're gonna place it here see it you can double click it and just start placing <laughs> like that it's just for arrangement stuff good so now in field name you're gonna put the name that you used here so this I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna paste it name then you take this and you just connect it here then you compile then you hit save when you go when we go back to our program we hit play and you see you it's saved because we use Pedro uh so if i click it you see now say pedro if you click the setting again and change the name to and this again 
and then you click on the program you see it says and this good so far so good now what if I okay let's take the thing further further I'm sorry and this is the host but let's suppose that in our lower third we want to place the I'm sorry we want to place the the my Instagram for example like let's put my Instagram let's go to designer and let's add another text so let's add it like here we we'll click here and text just drag and drop here you see it it's just black color you go let's call it Instagram Instagram let's place it just right here and let's anchor it here and let's it a bit uh, okay let's anchor it okay so let's just resize the test good so far so good let's take it back to tiny okay good so let's compile and let's save now the text we need to make it variable let's compile let's hit save there are many ways to do it but I'm just trying to you know to do it in a way that is clear and easier for you so here where says new name we're gonna change this to name just to name and let's add another input and let's change it to Instagram good and now let's take our Instagram test just this one 436 and again set text set text and then we'll be after this and then we're gonna take the Instagram and place it here and the same we'll also convert and so on so on yeah let's compile and save now how are we gonna get the Instagram to be sent I mean if you hit play you see it says Instagram but I only can change the name so good now this works the same this way in our manager you see it in our manager something that we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to get program info there are two ways so we can create a variable uh, let's call it fields for example I like to work this way to have this in the editor I mean I take fields and I drag and drop here I compile and I save if you go to the manager you see that we got fields so name and you compile let's just test and you see it works so if we click you see it says Andy it disappeared because it didn't receive anything but we're gonna work on it now so now multi multi fields to add multi fields you can just the variable we created field we're gonna set it to an array you see set it to an array let's change it and okay so we already changed it good so okay we're back let's just go to our manager and let's add the field let's add the fields I'm sorry you got one which will be name let's add another one which will be Instagram there you go okay where is it okay so after okay guys so after you change it to an array it will give an error because this is a string and this is an array so something as I said I just created some if you go to our QB maker BP there is a custom data manager those are functions that will help to decode the data so in this case what we're gonna create we're gonna use the function build fields data then we're gonna place our array 
and then this extra info to the extra info what we're gonna do basically what it's gonna do I'm sorry it's gonna convert our array to a string and then we'll place it we'll send it as an extra data so let's see let's compile let's save field save all now if we go to the lower term manager you see I just already added two array which is name Instagram if you don't see anything you can see zero then you hit plus will be name us Instagram good oh Instagram you need to make sure that you don't leave them empty if you add a new one okay let's save all if you hit play and you go to the program settings when you I'm sorry when you make any change you need to refresh the if you make any change in Unreal itself I mean if the in this program you need to reset the program data so you click there and we restart the program so let's click and now you see you got name we got name and Instagram so good so what it mean is that you can add as many fields as you want like I don't know you can just add them and if if I just play blah, 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 here and then save and then hit play if you go to the setting you'll see all the fields will be there easy <laughs> okay so now let's keep things serious so let's name Instagram now that we have those two fields let's copy the Instagram go back to our manager event graph and let's also get let's also get uh, let's go to decode decode field info data so we need this time the Instagram so let's connect the this here as well and the Instagram we're gonna send it here see uh, compile you save you hit play so nothing happened because I haven't said it. So I'm just clicking the wheel. Name will be Andy's. First Instagram will be at Mooncake Visuals. Hit save. We got our program. If you trigger it, you see it, it says Mooncake Visuals. So so far so good. Now let's just configure our lower third. Go back to designer and the Instagram and let's set it to the where is it where is it to the right okay good oh sorry instagram let's just move it here it's anchor good now let's compile save let's hit play the program is still saved if you click there you said mooncake visuals and these parents so far so good but now what if you want to like i don't know uh have multiple names like you you can just trigger them like you trigger andy's then you change it to thomas and instagram add thomas you hit play tell them okay good but just in case oh i need to go back to andy's oh my god t type andy uh, no 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 when you start a program you see that there's a button to do to create a copy of this so what it will do you create a copy when you create a copy you need to click on the settings wheel immediately because you need to set the data so this time will be andy's at moon cake sorry cake visuals enter and this you see you if you click it andy's but you got thomas here yes it will be safe and you can create as many copy as you want you see it but you need to make sure that you change the data I mean you need that you set the data because they will be empty so Lucia add Lucia uh, Tony add Tony um, blah blah here add Tara add Tara it's good I got all my programs there Thomas and this Tara Tony and Lucia so <laughs> good so but 
also if you check here in the addresses and you take the address the program address you click there and copy them you see that the changes if you refresh it you will get the changes here I mean if I make any change here let's delete it they will be in real time in the other station as well synchronization it didn't have it before I just added so I hope you like this guy um, okay so so far we got our program set and it's awesome but there is a problem and it's, it's boring I mean it's boring come on so it's boring so let's just let's just add an, an animation to it so let's reduce the Instagram size uh, let's move it in the okay let's reduce the size to like 30 good and the font type fade let's set it to light and I'll just let's move it to the left good so let's create a simple animation like uh, bp3 uh, lower third lower third triggering save all you compile you save go to timeline we got our timeline here we can change it to we're gonna be mostly working on 60 30 whatever you like I like 30 and let's change the display to frames there you go so now let's track you see if you hit track you will you will select what you want to track so in this case I just want to track the let's track the image see also the the text also the text now the image we're gonna track the where is it render opacity we can go to let's go to frame 20 to oh sorry okay let's go to frame 20 there we go let's let's just set it Oh god. Okay, so it's okay. Uh, from the text, I just want to track the transform. In this case, I don't want rotation or scale or shear. I just want the translation in x axis. So I'm gonna make something simple. And also, I'm gonna try to render opacity. And for the other text, the same transform, rotation, scale, shear, and and the opacity where is it render opacity now if we go back to our first frame you go and then you just place this is a zero and then the text block the transform I'm gonna set it like it will it will pop from from the left and the opacity will be zero and the same for the Instagram it will pop from the right and the opacity will be zero there you go now you see now let's check our animation you see Whippity. yes you see we got it we can just work with the curves but mostly I'm just gonna make it linear let me just make all that linear Oh god, so I'm gonna go to here, transform. Ah, it's okay like that. I will make it linear, but it's okay. It's gonna work in something. Okay, let's add another thing to our image in the transform. Note, uh, let's work with the scale, but only with the X scale. So let's move here, this frame. And then go to frame zero and then set it to zero and now if we hit play you see it Ooh, it's nothing from the other world but i think it's good so some is less less boring so that's what i think now let's compile and let's save let's hit play let's trigger with the name thomas 
you pee, but nothing happened. Why? Remember, guys, we just made the animation, but we did, but we didn't trigger it. So let's go back to our lower turn. And look, back in our event wrap, when we're when we're done. I mean, we done all the tech change. We're gonna take uh, the animation. You see here that now we get the animation. And let's just add play. You go play animation. You see it? We got some parameters, but so far I'm just gonna play it and just start zero. No more will be loop. It's okay. Play mode forward. Play speed one. Reverse reserve state. It's okay. So let's save. Now, if you hit play, and then we trigger it, you see, it played the animation, but there's a problem. If you hit play, you see, it's, it's there, so we don't want it to be there. So, but how? What are we gonna do now? So, we add the, the I'm sorry you guys, we add the widget when the event start playing, but what if instead of this we just add the widget when we receive the when we receive the I mean the 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 message from the controller so instead of going this we're just gonna go here and then after adding then we're gonna send the message yes we compile we hit save let's save all and then if we hit play, no widget, no widget, we go to the controller, Thomas, there you go, we got our lower third, yeah, but there is a problem again, if you hit play again, you see, it will be adding, and adding, and adding, and it will fill the memory, so we need to remove it when, we, when we're done, how can we do this, basically, let's is uh, some sort of programming here so please pay attention i repeat this is not like the best or the only method there should be many more methods but that's the one that i use because that's the one that i just found out that i have figured out so if you got another method really really good but so far well the animation we're gonna go back to our animation right we got lower third triggering and let's change this to seconds we see that our animation is basically 0 0.77 seconds so we're gonna take this we're gonna add a new we're gonna add keyframes uh let's after it's open let's give it like uh, two seconds and then let's add keyframe at two seconds see it like here there you go there you go just the keyframes we have so there you go so after two seconds we're gonna hide them again we're gonna hide the animation so i'm just gonna click here by pressing alt i'm just gonna move it like there you go to duplicate and as you see it plays the animation in reverse but something happened I mean look there is a drift with the with the I'm sorry with the with the name so let's just take this keyframe which is supposed I'm sorry this one which is because we didn't choose it now there you go it's because we didn't select it whoop, we'll play in reverse you see whoop. play in reverse so let's move let's give it a little bit more time there you go i don't know you can just add it there you go and it goes let's just add again like 3.5 just 3.5 seconds it will disappear let's compile let's say now if you hit play let's just see our animation click thomas you see we got thomas good it disappeared you click thomas again 
Thomas again. Look, it disappeared. But even though it disappears, it doesn't. It's still a memory, so it's still there. So we need to remove it. So the way to do it is, we go to our manager. After we send this to change the name, let's wait a delay. The delay would be like uh, the animation is 3.9 seconds. We're gonna wait uh, 3.95. And then after that we're gonna take our lower third and we're just gonna remove where is it we just remove from parents there you go we compile and we hit save and then if you hit play Thomas and then Thomas will like hide and it just will be removed so let's let's give it less time like uh, 1.5 seconds so we can make sure that it disappears so if you play you click Thomas 1.5 it, it's gone good it removed but there is a problem if you hit play Thomas you see Thomas like Thomas Thomas oh let me just add more time like the, the 3.95 seconds you hit play Thomas, you put Thomas again. See, the, it, it was twice. So Thomas, even though it disappeared, but we need to. What we need to do, we need to make sure that while it's playing the the, the trigger on animation, it won't play again. I mean, it cannot play another one. So we're gonna go from the beginning, and now we're gonna create a variable. This variable will be. Playing, oh, playing lower third. This will be a boolean. Let's compile. Let's change it to a single variable. Compile, save. Let's get it. Now, first we need the branch. So, if it's not playing the lower third, so just do it. But then we're gonna set this to plane. Yes, it's plane. If it's not plane, then set it to play. That what we that I'm sorry. That will make that when you trigger the event again, if it's still like true, it won't go through all this. It just will ignore it. But at the end we need to set it to false so we just click copy and we paste it here there you go now we compile and we save so now if we hit play and I start clicking Thomas like crazy oops nothing happened so let's go here I'm sorry it should be false here because if it's not playing set it to true sorry now you hit play you start clicking Thomas like crazy like oh nothing happened you see it will just when, when you when, when you can like no you cannot you just can't good so it's like let me clone Thomas and let me change Thomas to Rodolfo and then Rodolfo will be uh, the Instagram will be uh, at Rodolfo, oh my god, Rodolfo, there you go, if you click Rodolfo, <laughs> there you go, you see Rodolfo, you, but you cannot trigger Thomas, but now I can trigger Thomas, so that's basically it, guys, so just restart my program, and that's it, uh, so guys, this is basically it, so it was a simple lower third that we created I hope you guys understand I hope you like the program so if you feel like supporting me or supporting the program support, supporting the project I'm sorry feel free to go to our Gumroad and get our project files I'll be sending there but also you can just see me on buy me a coffee guys so whatever you feel like and I hope you like and any question feel free to join discord or even WhatsApp me, I'm open to all of that stuff. So, thank you so much and have a good day, guys. Bye.